In a galaxy far, far away, to infinity and beyond, to boldly go where no man has gone before. With the pyramid, you have the connection to everything in time and space. Hope you are ready for a ton of space themed memes and gifts because I have a galaxy full of them. Gifts, gifs, whatever you prefer to call them. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the new Buff Bunny Space Collection that's dropping November 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is actually on a Friday. Did that weird out anybody else? Usually their launches are on a Saturday and they're switching things up. I had to double check, but it almost got me there, Buff Bunny. It's the Twilight Zone. All right, you know they love their themes. This time we're looking at a space collection? The Great Beyond. Oh wait, I think that's death. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over my favorites that I chose from this collection. Check out my measurements right over here. Everything you see in today's video is in my size small. That's my true size, but don't get it twisted. We're gonna be talking about these pieces individually and whether you should be sizing up or down. Let's start off with the Twilight sports bra and leggings in the color Dusk. I have a suspicion that a lot of you guys are gonna be going for these. Why? Because it's space themed and this is the most spacey of the pieces that we have here. I'm just gonna say this and I do not mean to be a downer when I say this. I personally feel like Buff Bunny had a golden opportunity to use their really beautiful foil prints for this collection. You know how they like to do that? They really go ham on it, usually for their Halloween launches. For this collection, I was really hoping to see more foil prints. I mean, it's the galaxy after all. You could do so much with those foil prints. But there really are only two space themed prints. There's the dimension print that I do not have, and then the twilight. If you look really closely, there's a very very slight glitter finish to these pieces. Like really, really subtle. They almost look a little frosty. Like when you put something in the freezer for too long and then you take it out and there's those little frost particles on it. That's what it looks like to me. Or if you're like Bay, you could think it looks like lint. I can't unsee it. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the overall fit of this legging. There's a ton of stretch. Waistband has a really nice stretch to it as well. Very light to moderate compression. They actually say this is designed for cardio. Now, I do think this would be great for cardio because it's super breathable. This material, fairly thin, breathable, would be great for wicking sweat. Plus it's black, so it's great for sweat concealment. Totally agree with that. However, I do think if you really run in these, this fabric has the potential of slowly slipping. Not that it's gonna run down your bum, it's not gonna go that crazy, but you know, if you really try to hike it up, make the glutes look fire, it'll slip its way down. Post run, this is the slight drooping, sagging that I'm talking about. See the V seam? Sitting very low right now. This is not where I put it before I ran. Where'd you put it? This is where I put it. That's where it was originally. If you're in between sizes, I do think with this particular legging, you can size down for more compression or size up if you prefer just a less compressive fit, but that's if you're in between. Stick to your true size. I find this legging very special because you can wear it in the gym or you can wear it outside the gym. You could totally dress this baby up. Buff Bunny always has that undertone of elegance to their pieces, and this one especially. For the Christmas parties coming up, the New Year's, if you just wanna look cute in some leggings that aren't just a boring black, this could be it. To match the leggings, we have the Twilight Sports Bra. This has a bit more coverage, okay? It comes up a bit higher on the chest than um, <clears throat> some of their other bras here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a sweetheart neckline. No adjustments, tons of straps on the back, removable bra pads as usual. I like the minimal seam contour right around the chest. Just highlights the girls a bit, adds a little something something. And we have a really thick seam that goes under the bust. This is a long line sports bra, so you do have that extra material right underneath the bust. No big crazy bands, just held by a bulky seam. Really nice in my size small, but if in between size up rather than down, I would not want to see you struggling with this thick seam. Because if you size down, I think it'll be too snug. I think they did a nice job if you're looking for more of a still light to moderate support sports bra, but something that covers you up a bit more. Overall, really happy with this set. This is cute as hell without sacrificing the comfort. I actually grabbed a couple random toppers to add on with the twilight leggings. In case I wanted to change out the bra, add on a little shruggy, you know how it is. Let's start with this bra. This this is the Ambrosia Sports Bra. What the frick? Mm. <laughs> 
ding. When I saw this sports bra, there's two things I really liked about it. Number one, really pretty mesh. And number two, that keyhole cutout, right where it's totally necessary, if you know what I mean. Now this is made out of their Nubre fabric. Nubre and me, I mean, I love Nubre, but it does have a tighter fit than most of their other materials. I'm sure everybody, if you've been watching, you already know what Nubre is like. It's thick, it's brushed, it's very soft. No gym for me, it's too insulating. Right off the bat, I could have sized up in this, especially because you have a very small one inch elastic band right here that just wants to dig even more. When it's not the right size, it digs and I feel it. So if I sized up, I think I would love this even more. The girls look amazing. It is so flattering, still light to moderate support. I actually really like the back of it as well. They didn't just leave it as a plain mesh. They added in some detailing. I feel like Buff Bunny really shines when it comes to more of their daintier feminine pieces, like things with mesh. They really have fun. They really play with those pieces. Overall, this is a very comfortable sports bra. The Essential Bolero. This looks familiar. Didn't Alphalete just come out with some shrugs? I just reviewed them in the new Alphalete Aura video that I just posted. Straight up, I prefer the Buff Bunny Bolero. I think it overall fits better. There's no gaping in awkward places. This one is just designed more functional, I think. I think there's just more attention to detail here. I actually prefer this cut a lot more too. It actually covers your underarms. The Alphalete had less material overall. This I prefer, a little more material. Went underneath the arms. I didn't feel like I was missing material. <laughs> <laughs> this feels a little more complete. It's so comfortable and stretchy. This is actually made out of their air knit fabric. So it's very soft, not as thick and brushed as the Nubre, but it still has a cozy feel to it. It's not slippery like the Twilight material that's made out of nylon and spandex. This has a real soft to the touch feel. You'll see, I actually styled this with one of the cinch waist puffers. It looked out of this world. I'm sticking to my true size small, but if you're in between, I might size up rather than down. We have some puffers. Now this is where the collection really shines in my eyes. Let's start with the waist taper puffer jacket in onyx black. I grabbed the black because I know it'll just naturally go with more and I wanna wear this all throughout the winter time. Rather than that traditional puffer look that goes straight across, they added in that really nice angled chevron design. So the stitching angles down across the stomach and in case you're wondering, they do keep that chevron design all throughout the back here. My true size small is okay. If I'm looking to layer up, I should have sized up. Keep that in mind. If you wanna wear many layers underneath this or thicker hoodies, thicker sweaters, things like that, maybe size up. This runs just on the brim of being a little too small on me. What's cool is that this hood is removable. It's held on by snap buttons. You have two zipper pockets on the side. This is so lightweight. It's almost like there's no gravity here. On the back is where you have this really thick elastic band. This helps to ever so slightly snatch the waist. And this material, in case you couldn't guess, very water repellent. Great for a rainy day. Branching off that puffer jacket, we have the cinch waist puffer vest in the color beige. I actually really wish I loaded up on this vest because I love it so much. I could have used one in every color, to be honest. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing as a jacket, just vest version and no hood. But they added in some draw cords right at the bottom so you really could just cinch in that waist. This I styled with the Twilight leggings, the Ambrosia sports bra, and the Essential Bolero. Are you kidding me? I thought, okay, black again the beige, really nice November fit. Now this has a little more slack to it. It doesn't feel as tight as the jacket only because there's no freaking sleeves on here. Look how low these sleeves go. So you have a ton of space and room. This vest, I would say if you're in between, you absolutely could get away with sizing down. Totally happy with my true size though. If it's between this or the puffer jacket, I do see myself wearing the vest more. I mean, there's a really nice shine to this. It almost looks like a sparkling champagne. So between the color and the overall style, I feel like this vest is a little more useful to me. Now this is the part of the video that might not make sense. <laughs> no, this isn't Dreamhouse. No, this isn't Sugar Rush. No, this is not the cake collection. This is the space collection. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna roll with it because I like this color. We're looking at the Revolve sports bra and the Rosa Pocket legging. I've reviewed the Rosa Pocket legging a million and one times. Nothing has changed here, just the color. This color is Lotus. Very pretty. It's a very pretty, vibrant purple. I know what you're wondering. How does it compare to the party purple that we've been seeing in the dream house? I'm really glad you asked that. <laughs> 
this is how it compares. Who knew? So the Rosa pocket legging, quick rundown, very high-waisted, made out of the Nubre fabric. Pockets on both sides, light to moderate compression. If you're in between sizes, size up. I'm almost on the brim of just sizing up altogether. I actually forgot to. I typically do in the Nubre fabrics, bottoms specifically. I forgot to do that this time around, and I wish I did, because if we have similar glute measurements, you will feel that bit of snugness right on the back side. Especially if you have thicker thighs, you will also feel it right around here. Keep that in mind. That's just a Nubre fabric kind of thing. So size up if in between. These sports bras where it's at though, I really, really like this Revolve sports bra. It's not only very flattering, but it's also a lot less bulky than the other sports bras. This is a short line. You have a very soft square neckline in the front, itty bitty band at the bottom, just enough support. It's very light to moderate and super soft and stretchy straps on on the back. This is not adjustable at all. You do have removable bra pads. This is just enough support for me. Smaller breasts, this will look amazing on you. But with that being said, it's Nubre fabric, so if you're in between, size up. I think my small was totally doable, but it was on the brim of just being a little too snug. When it comes to Nubre fabric, you know how I feel about it. Great for yoga, great for going outside, nice and insulating, not something I'm working out in the gym with. Last but not least, let's check out the curve leggings and the double twist sports bra, which I'm wearing right now. So we have terracotta and tea leaf. Again with these colors. Terracotta, it's doable for this time of year. Tea leaf, this is completely spring. Now this curve legging is very special to me. It's actually one of my favorite Buff Bunny materials. It's the butter fabric. This is actually a somewhat newer material. It really does have that naked feel. This legging just fits so nicely. I love this fit to the moon and back. The curve legging has a pretty unique waistband. It's almost a corset style. You also have a very beautiful V-seam on the back and it's more of a wedgie fit. There's no built-in scrunch, no built-in support. It just naturally fits on the glutes like a freaking wedgie. Don't half-ass me. Picture the Nubre fabric, but a hell of a lot thinner, a hell of a lot stretchier in my opinion, less compressive all around. <laughs> That's what the butter fabric is like. I love it so much more. And I was dead set on Nubre when I first was getting into Buff Bunny. I was like, all right, nothing will beat the Nubre. Something beat it and it's called butter, baby. If you're in between, I think sizing down would be more compressive for you and therefore I wouldn't want to do that. I'm very, very happy with my size small. If you prefer less compression, you just want a little more let up. Sizing up if in between is okay. I'm not seeing any extra wrinkling. This material doesn't really do that. It's not wrinkling in weird places. Through time and space of wearing Buff Bunny, never not once can I actually recall me fearing over the quality of their things, and I've never had an issue. Houston, we have no problems. And a little behind the scenes information from what I have personally experienced, Buff Bunny has like the least amount of returns that I've ever seen from any brand. Now this butter fabric is super durable. It's not ultra thin where it's like, ooh, that's a little risky. It does show cellulite because it's super low support. However, I feel comfortable enough wearing these to the gym. Like I actually worked out in the terracotta yesterday. As long as I'm mindful not to rub Velcro or anything harsh against these leggings, then yeah, I'll work out in them all day and night. Let's talk really briefly about the crisscross sports bra. You guys probably saw this in my naked launch. I believe that's when they really rolled out. I was in love with it. I mean, granted, like, it's really booby. They made some adjustments though. They actually added on a really nice backing here. From the last time I tried them, there was virtually no backing. They definitely updated this bra to add a bit more support in the back, which then in turn adds more support in the front. Still so light in the support area, but this definitely made a difference and I like it. I'm not as afraid of spilling over and it just drooping down and falling away from me. Everything else about this bra has remained the same. If you're in between, size up. I don't think if you size down, you're gonna have any room for your boobies. Then Houston, you will have a problem. No adjustments, removable bra pads, same low support that we know. All right guys, so what are you thinking about the new Buff Bunny Space Collection? I personally think they nailed it with the bras in this launch. It was one small step for the boobs, all right? I also think they absolutely slayed on these puffers. Aside from my own personal expectations, I really would have loved to see more fun prints. There would have been a world of opportunities when it came to prints in this specific theme. Other than that, I think they did a wonderful job on the pieces that I do have. I'm gonna sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Buff Bunny videos to come. Thank you guys for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.